My name is Dandy Reiner. I'm from Livingston, Montana. I own Hatchfinder's Fly Shop with my father, Dean Reiner. Uh, we tie all our own flies in, in Hatchfinder's. We don't buy any overseas flies. Everything is tied right there on site, so that definitely keeps us busy. Today I'm going to be tying the CDC Spent Wing Caddis. Uh, it's one of my favorite caddis variations. Uh, it's got a CDC wing and it, it moves beautiful in the water, works well wherever you see caddis. First thing you want to start off with, uh, the Dairiki number 320. So I'm using a size 14 hook. Uh, this is tied in a 14, 16, and 18, typically. I'm using a 8-aught dark brown thread. You just want to wrap your hook shank starting behind the eye. Tie it down to the hook point with nice even wraps. And then you tie in your clear monofilament. This is for reinforcement. Reinforces the goose biot we use for the body. So we've got that tied in. Next we take our we use a uh, goose biot. I use a, the Wapsie, and I use this in the tan color. It helps to soak the biot in a little bit of water. It loosens up that, that biot and it makes it more pliable and easier to work with. So soaking it in a little bit of water will help it from, from breaking. And we want a smooth body on this caddis. And what that means is when you take your biot, it has one rough ridge in it. And you want that rough ridge to be facing the eye of the hook. Tie it in, tip forward at the end where the point is. and pull your thread up to behind the eye. Take your hackle pliers, pinch them off, and we start our wraps. Again, we want a nice smooth body so you go over any rough ridges When we get to the end of the biot, we tie it off. Trim off any excess. Cinch it down with our thread. And then we take our monofilament and we reinforce that biot, make it a little stronger by reverse wrapping it. Make your wraps even. And then we tie off the mono. Next, we take two CDC feathers, and I use Trout Hunter's premium CDC. Uh, this one is tied in a natural brown, but you can certainly play around with the colors. You want to take the two feathers, you want them to be about equal size. And you want the, they come in two, they're cupped together. The two cupped sides you want to be pressing towards each other. And keep the tips even. Sep Keep the tips evened up. And then you tie them in 
with the tips forward over the eye. One feather right on top of the other. And you want your wing to be the same length as the hook shank. So we take one loose wrap over it and kind of pull them towards the, the length we need. A couple of good wraps to cinch it down. Then I use the super fine dubbing. I use the brown. Again, you can play around with the color variation. Get that tight on your thread. You only need a little bit of it. It's easy to add on, but it's hard to take the dubbing off. A couple of wraps. Then you want to take the top CDC feather and just cut that off right behind, right behind your dubbing. A couple more wraps, and then we want to split the wing evenly on each side. Just split it. And then in a figure eight motion, we make that split wing. Add a little bit more dubbing if needed. This makes a nice good thorax. And you want to end up right behind the eye. Next thing we do is we pull the butt end of the CDC feather over the eye and we tie it off behind that eye, trim off any, trim off the excess. And a few good more wraps to cinch it down. And we tie a few good knots. I like to use a little bit of watershed. It's a uh, liquid fly dressing on the wings, on the CDC wings. And uh, it makes it float beautiful in the water. So there you have it, your CDC spent wing caddis.